you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, because Series 2 is officially here, we do have access to a brand new Power Pass. Now, if you guys don't know what a Power Pass is, which I hope you guys at this point do, Power Passes pretty much replace whatever player at that overall is necessary. So let's say you get a Telvin Smith power-up, right? You power him up to his 89 overall power-up. Now to get to that card, you need a 90, you need a 91 overall Telvin Smith. So instead you toss in a 90 to 91 overall power pass, let's just say if there was one right now, and that would replace the card. So in theory, power passes give you a free player, technically. They give you a free powered up player, minus the training it costs to get there. So because of Every series, we typically get the next level cap power up. So last, uh, last, the first series, I should say, we had an 87 to 88, which I recommended that most people went ahead and got either Aaron Donald or Khalil Mack. Now we have an 89 to 90. So that gives us a whole new, brand new plethora of players that we could get from. Now this list wasn't the easiest to make because quite honestly, there's some pretty easy ones to pick, and some of them I don't, some of them I don't think will last too long. So here's the issue with the cards that I didn't want to pick. Some of these cards were pretty good now, but I don't think they'll be much good later. So I wouldn't power pass cards. I want to have like year round. Now there's a surefire number one. There's a guy on this list that I recommend everyone use, but I'll give you a total of five in case you're, you know, you're iffy about that guy, but I don't think anyone should be iffy about him. But this wasn't the easiest list because I had to do it based on stats now and longevity for how long they could be good. So I picked some positions where I know that I won't want to change for a while anyway. So very useful for me. Because the when you use when you use power passes in theory, you want to use them to save coins. Like I don't use them just to get a card I want. I typically use them to save coins. Like if, let's say I already have a card on my team that goes for 400k. I'll use the power pass in place and I'll go sell the other card I had and it makes me a lot of coins back. So I don't really use this just to get a I don't want just a brand new card because I can have one. I want to be able to maximize my coin and team potential. So before we get into this video, boys, make sure to go give this video a big thumbs up. Hopefully this helps you guys out a ton. So if it helps you guys out, drop a like. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Comment down below what player you plan to be using this power pass on. I wonder how much you differ from my list. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Grinding to 9k. You won't regret it. Daily, everything you can imagine in Madden. You got it on this channel. So let's go on over. Starting off from the auction block. So I was looking at the 89s, right? I can't justify any 89s in this list. Like if you really look at it, like if you look at it, right? Most 89s go for about 150 to 200k. Most 90s go for above 300k. So again, like I said, I like to maximize my coins. So I don't see in a world where also 89s aren't as usable as 90s, especially if you're no money spent. Why would you go for a lesser overall? Like the only guy out of all the 89s that I could say like maybe you could go with would maybe be Larry Allen because he's going to be a long-term option at right guard. But again, he's an 89, so I don't really know if I'd even want to go that. Or, or maybe, what was it? It was Odell Beckham Jr. That was the only other guy. But the issue with powering up these superstars is that when you power them up, you lose all their abilities. So then you have to spend coins to get them back anyways. So I don't recommend any of the 89s. If you're being maximizing coins, I recommend you stay away from all the 89s. You go straight for the 90s. So I was looking at this list, right? Looking at it, Reggie White, eh, nah, he's, he's good. But I wouldn't recommend using my power pass on him. Like, yeah, he's really good. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't use him because I don't think he'll get a card for a while. And I don't really think I want him right now. Especially when you can get guys like Demarcus Lawrence and stuff. Jerry Rice, mm, nah, I wasn't thinking that either. So coming down to the first guy on this list, he goes for quite a bit amount of coins. Willie Brown, cornerback. So the reason I like Willie Brown so much, it was between him and Slay. But the difference between him and Slay is Willie Brown hits more threshold. So I think he'll be more usable for longer periods of time. Darius Slay has the speed, but Willie Brown has 87 speed, 85 excel, 85 agility, 85 jumping, 88 play rec, 90 man, 89 zone, 88 press. If you power this guy up, which you have to do, plus you uh, you chem him up with lockdown, he will have the man coverage the, uh, threshold, the zone threshold, the press threshold, the play rec threshold, and you have an 88 speed. So my personal opinion, Willie Brown is a top two corner in the game only with Slay competing with him. You really can't mess up with this one. And because he hits so many thresholds, he'll be usable for a long period of time. Darius Slay doesn't hit the zone threshold or the press threshold, so that kind of limits him in my opinion. I like, he can do it all. He's physical, he's fast, he's taller, he can play rec, he can play in the in the run game, he can, you know, he can run stop, he can play zone, man, excel, jump, agility, he does it all. I really love this Willie Brown. I think he's an awesome option at number five. Again, he's probably interchangeable for many with Slay, so that's an honorable mention for you guys. Next on the list was tough, right? So like Elway, no. Mahomes, no, because Mahomes, again, you lose all your abilities. What makes this Mahomes so good is all the abilities he comes with. So if you go for what I said, you end up losing all your Mahomes abilities. So next, I went with Anthony Munoz. 
Now, the reason for that is because line's important. It always is important, and that's a position you hate buying. So instead of spending 300k on alignment, you could just power him up, get him all the way, and look at these stats. 87 strength, 87 awareness, 90 pass block, 88 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 88 run block, 86 run block power, and 88 run block finesse. If you power him up, which you have to, you chem him up with some pass blocking or run blocking, and you put John Madden passing or rushing on him, he could potentially hit most of the pass blocking and run blocking threshold. So he will be a set it and forget it left tackle for a few months easily with good awareness, good strength. He can do it all. I feel like he's just like a kind of guy that you just pick up, drop him, and you forget about him. I think he's an awesome option. He's not flashy, but again, this isn't about being flashy. Like if I want to be flashy, I could say, oh, Steve Young, but I don't really think Steve Young is an answer at quarterback. I, I don't. I don't think he's long-term. His, his accuracy is good. His speed's good, but nothing there is like great. If I'm going to go, I want some stats that are great. Nothing there is above a 90. I, I just don't really see it in my opinion. Steve Young's amazing, but he's not, he's not like great. Like he's not that car that I really want. I'm not going with flashy. I'm going with what saves you the most amount of coins. Next on the list is going to be Julio Jones. I love this card and he goes for 400k. So you're saving a lot of coins on that. I'm honestly contemplating buying Julio Jones. I'm kind of trying to stop myself. But look at this Julio. Let's compare him to our, like, I don't even know, like Torrey Holt, our 90 overall. Or like even DeAndre Hopkins. Like I don't really know what to compare him to, but he's at 87 speed. That's pretty, and if you power him up, he's going to have an 88 speed. So he's really fast. 92 jumping. That's some elite level jump, elite, elite level jumping right there. Right up there with DeAndre Hopkins. 86 catch not the highest but it's good 88 catch in traffic which is huge 88 spec catch which is huge and his route running is 90 89 and 85 so when this card is powered up and fully chemmed up he'll have about an 88 speed a 93 jumping like an 89 catch he'll have a about 90 catch in traffic on it could get a 90 spec catch if you go go deep on him he'll have above 90 route running besides deep route running and let's see what his all actually let's see what his ball carry moves are agility is a 90 that's huge uh, let's see what his other off-ball stats are. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Elusiveness is an 80. Ball carry vision is 89. His spin and his stiff arm isn't great, but stiff arm is actually not bad considering he's a wide receiver. And his juke is an 82. This card has a... Can he run block? Did I pass that already? Run block, run block. No, but he's a good break tackle. So, I don't know. I think this card's insane. I really do love this card. I've, it's kept a lot of me to not go out and buy him right away. I highly recommend you pick him up. Next on this list, another guy that's not flashy. But again, he's an awesome guy to just get, set it and forget it, and just forget that you never have to pay for it. And he's a very usable card. Uh, of course, I don't see him. Let's refresh the block real quick. Is he really not here? Am I being blind right now? Where are you at? All right, so um, I think this guy dipped. Let's go. Let's go check him out. It's Alan Page, and he appears to not be here right now. Alan Page, Alan Page, there you are. So Alan Page goes for 315k, another awesome option. Like, I don't have to really debate this. He has 78 speed, 83 excel. So that's elite speed and acceleration for defensive tackle. With 85 strength, 85 tackle, 86 play rec, 85 block shedding, 82 power moves, and 88 finesse moves. It's kind of a no-brainer in my opinion. This card's pretty insane. The only comparable card for me is John Randall, but I believe John Randall is a 91, so he cannot be used. I will double check that in a second. But he's gonna hit finesse move threshold. He could potentially, he will hit play rec threshold. So that's awesome right there. He can pass rush and play the run. He's strong. He can tackle. He's got good speed. I love this Allen Page personally. And again, defensive tackle is a position that I really just don't want to be buying. Now the consensus, number one. I don't care what anyone says. The best card to use this power pass on. Because all those other guys, you might have to take them off later on the year. They might not last on your team the whole year. You might have to go power them down at some point. There is one guy in this game that will be at this position on your team from now until the last day of the year if you're smart. He will never leave your team. He's overpowered and he goes for a ton of coins. If you guys don't already know, you guys should know. Lawrence Taylor goes for 370K. Let's look, I'll show you guys him powered up right here. Powered up, he has 85 speed, 88 acceleration outside linebacker as a pass rusher. So it's really as like an end, if you really think about it. All right, 85 speed and 80 excel at end. 86 strength, 86 tackle. 85 play rec, 86 block shed, 90 power move, not 88 finesse move. You chem this guy up properly, he will hit and you put my job mad and coach on him. He will have above 90 and above 90 power and finesse move, I should say. So he'll have threshold pass rushing no matter which one it goes. He'll have really high play rec, really crazy elite speed. If you put sprinter on this guy and John Madden athleticism, if that comes out this series, you could potentially get this guy up to like an 88 speed. That's unreal at outside linebacker, guys. And the best part about him. 
the best part about it, he's set and forget for the year. Not many cards you could say are just put in your lineup for the rest of the year and you don't have to worry about them. You put him at outside linebacker, you chem him up, you power him up, you put abilities on him, and you just let him sit there. You never have to change it again. The only time I got to spend scorns on this card is to get his next new card that will come out eventually. This card is overpowered. I think it's the consensus number one. I don't know how many people could even disagree with that. If I had to use this pass, I think what I'm going to do is because I did pay for Lawrence Taylor. I think I will go power down his full one. Go sell his full one for 380k. Get back like 300 and like 50k. And then put the power pass in. Now I'm 350k richer. And I got Lawrence Taylor still. It's like nothing changed. I, I, that's how I like to use my power passes. I just replace them for cards with coins. I think that's the smartest way to use them. Just get, just, I'm going to cash back out. I think it's personally, in my opinion, best option, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy this video, and it does give you some insight on how to think about using these power passes, even if you don't like my choices, at least I gave you some insight, like how to think, like, are they going to last long? Do I get a lot of coins back? Am I shorting myself by getting an 89 over that goes for 150K when I can get a car that goes for 380K? It's just, just think, you know, like food for thought or whatever that thing's called, like something like that. Just think about it. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to subscribe for daily content just like this. Stay up to date with everything that goes on in Madden. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy Series 2. And stay tuned for a ton of videos this weekend. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.